What's up, everybody? More Acro here again on August 2nd, 2021. Uh, big day in the Olympics for Morocco. Sufian El Bakali won the 3,000 meter steeplechase race, and that's Morocco's first gold medal in these games. So, congratulations to him. He's looking over his shoulder in the end of the race, checking out the Kenyan and Ethiopian behind him. He couldn't believe it. Fell on the ground after the race. Uh, wove the flag around very proudly. It's great to see him win that event. Uh, finally, some Moroccan gold. In other news, in Lollapalooza in Chicago, the event went on this weekend, which is a music festival. It's been around for a long time. My older sister would go to it. It started many years ago, and last year was canceled. This year, they were able to do it if everyone had a vaccination or PCR test. The festival is held outdoors, attended by tens of thousands of people, and I read that 88% of the people that went to the event were vaccinated, and another 10% came with papers saying they had their PCR tests, and another 2% they told to come back tomorrow. So welcome everyone, salam. Mahabat, congratulations to Morocco on this uh, historic Tokyo Olympic Day for them. First gold medal, first medal. Well done to Sufian El Bakali. Congratulations. So uh, this is an American talking from Slovenia. So I have a perspective on what's going on in Europe. They've passed the vaccine passport regulations in many countries here, similar to what was going on at Lollapalooza in Chicago where you need a PCR test or vaccine to get into a lot of public places, bars, restaurants, shopping malls. And that has been met with protests in Germany, Italy, and France. Here in Slovenia, things are a bit more quiet. I haven't heard of any protests going on. I haven't been in the city, but in the news as well, there's just the weekly Friday protests going on and nothing more than that. But it's similar regulations to what's going on in the other countries here in Europe, and also in Lollapalooza in Chicago. Uh, I'm not back in Morocco. I'm still broadcasting from Slovenia. Uh, what was the other thing on the news here? I had one more topic. Um, what was it there? Sorry for this. Uh, congratulations, Morocco. Oh, a throne day recap. I read that the king is looking forward to better ties with Algeria, talking about a united future. And it's nice for people to make peace with their allies. Hello, Mr. D in Chicago. Welcome to today's live stream. Yeah, that's it. We went through those items. Bang, bang, bang today. Uh, Morocco Gold, that just happened today. Sufi El Bakali, Lollapalooza, big music festival. Uh, another bit of news from there, Da Baby. Some artists I've never heard of was canceled from his Sunday performance from what people perceived as homophobic remarks at a previous concert. He had some things he said about AIDS and some things I'm not going to mention on this broadcast, but people are very offended. And he was replaced with an artist named Young Thug, another artist I've never heard of. Uh, I looked at this Law Blues lineup and... It was not for me, right? It was a lot of artists I'd never heard of. Miley Cyrus as a headliner, just not my thing. I went many years ago. I think I'm too old now. Uh, <laughs> on this front, we got our ringworm healing up a little bit. Uh, it's getting flat, a little more red, I guess, but we've been covering those up. Hoping they heal. The one on the face is, uh, I don't know, that's some cream on there. Don't worry about that. But I'm healing up nicely, I guess. Uh, domestic news. Haven't learned to drive yet. We have 19 days until due date. The countdown is on. And it's a cool day in Slovenia. The wind is blowing. It feels like fall is already here. Time to go back to school. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> you like the Kurt Cobain shirt? He's still the best man who sold the world. I can't believe uh, he was born in 1967. That's what this shirt really 
surprised me with. He passed away at 27, member of the 27 Club, like Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, and he's born in 1967. Wow. You know, grew up as a teenager in the 80s and then peaked in the 90s, and we only had him there shortly. So I'm glad you like the Kurt Cobain t-shirt. Ibiza Sound is in Tagazoot. What are the Tagazoot vibes right now? What's going on in Tamarat and Tagazoot? Are the people there? Um, is vacation mode still on? I saw a story from Sunday. It looked like there was still big traffic going to Agadir from Tagazoot and Tamarat. People enjoying the beaches, but then heading back to the city for the holidays. Or for the Sunday night, I guess that's where they live. Check the weather down there to see if uh, Agadir was as cold as Slovenia was today. It's a bit warmer. If you go inland in Morocco, it's still super hot. Marrakesh, 39 degrees. Wazazat, too hot. So stay cool. Get back to the beach. Of course, we miss the souk, Mr. D. Uh, we've been going to Hofer, which is... The Slovenian version of Aldi, and I like that. They have some sales sometimes, but it's not the same vibe as going to your weekly souk and getting all your fruits and veggies. So we just buy a little bit each time here, and it's still more money than we would spend at the souk. It's, um, we buy more garbage, though, you know. We buy chips and dips and pretzels, not as much healthy foods. I still don't feel... Like I eat as much fruit and veggies as I did in Morocco. Uh, here, a lot of meat, a lot of meat and potatoes. So I miss the, those Moroccan dishes, the people of the souk and those vibes, you know, it's a different atmosphere. I hope everyone's staying healthy in Morocco as this new wave of coronavirus passes through. Record case numbers in the past week, but deaths are still remaining low, so that's definitely on the bright side. Uh, Ibiza Sound said, yesterday I was in Tamrat for the chicken place. I hope you enjoyed chicken roaster. Really hope you enjoyed the sauce there. Uh, I really like the, the crew over there, so I'm glad you went to chicken roaster. Really nice. Um, bet you cannot fill up the backpack for $20. Uh, it's possible. We bought a watermelon today. Watermelon prices are hovering at 49 euro cents, so... Probably about five and a half dirham for a watermelon a kilo. We could probably fill up a couple of those mini watermelons in there. Uh, Najma, thank you for the peace. Peace across the people. Uh, sadly, in Afghanistan right now, the Taliban is making progress through the rural provinces, taking over cities, assassinating U.S. trained Afghani pilots, and there's a little bit of turmoil there now. The current president is making speeches saying to try and rally the people, but it's still a very divided place. And they think that the U.S. hasty decision to be leaving after 20 years is encouraging these advances. But we will see how things pan out there. I hope everyone is safe, happy, and healthy. Hey, I'm glad you like the chicken Ibiza sound. It's it's really nice. It may not be the best chicken in Morocco, best rotisserie, but for a Tamrat, Tagazoot area, I don't think you could beat it for the price. You get nice salad, amazing sauce with that chicken, and those potatoes are so good. I could go for that. They don't have that rotisserie chicken in Slovenia. I really miss that. Andrea's inside. She's doing a bit of cleaning upstairs. She has a video coming out for us soon where she's going to explore her Moroccan stamps in her stamp collection. I, I don't, I've never seen a Moroccan stamp really, so I'm excited to see what we could find on those. Mr. D, we're expecting August 21st. There will be a full moon and that will be our nine months. I'm expecting the 23rd. We're taking bets for uh, what day the birth will happen. Andrea's nervous because I still don't know how to drive, and um, we need to learn before the baby comes, before the contra uh, contractions start occurring. So <laughs> I'm sure Jebly misses us. I think Melvin and Saeed, our landlord, are taking care of him. I hope Jebly didn't give me this fungus. He's a possible culprit for this. 
But again, the point in this live stream was for big congratulations to Sufian El Bacali in the steeplechase. I think the steeplechase is kind of a, a silly race, in my opinion. I don't really get it. It's like a big hurdle, then people jumping in and having to run with wet shoes. I guess it's kind of like a realistic race, but uh, seems like a precursor to the Spartan races and mud races. But congratulations to him. There's another... Moroccan in the race. He didn't take home a medal, but still, well done to be competing in there. Ibiza sound about the chicken roasters is true and cheap also. I'm in the sun house in the mountain working for Hussein. Oh, nice. We know sun house. Andrea was up there for some yoga. Tell Hussein we say hello. It's a nice little uh, oasis up there. So I hope you enjoy that Ibiza sound. Cool to check in and name these places. You know, we like them. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean you do not know how to drive, especially for someone from Naperville? I'm from Schaumburg, not Naperville. Don't, don't get us confused. Schaumburg, the better suburb. But I know how to drive automatic. You know, I've been driving for 16 years, over half my life, but I've never driven stick shift. So I need to learn that here in Europe. A lot of it is manual transmission. So that's on the to-do list in uh, tomorrow. The arm is slowly healing, I think. I don't want to show what's under here. Uh, but we still got like nine of these going on all across the body. We need to heal those up. I'm putting on the cream, I'm putting on the pills. Uh, someone mentioned I should keep them covered. I do that when I go out in public, so I'm doing my best there. Yeah, Schaumburg, the Ikea suburb, the mall. Yeah, I'm a better surfer than a driver, I guess. Full moon is like in changing time. I don't exactly know what that means, but I maybe it's a time change going on in Morocco. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I love the watermelon. Maroc Scoop says, I know how to eat watermelon well. Wilson, salutations. Welcome to the digital more Acro Village. It's always good to connect with everyone on here. Uh, Hamodi, you have an idea. Go ahead and shoot it out. We're not producing as many videos these days. So we're spending a lot of time at home. So I like to just check in and have a chat here with these spontaneous live streams. The news I had today lasted three minutes, so... I'm glad that you guys could contribute in this chat and continue to expand upon topics. Yes, I take phone and says, Tisnit, Tisnit, great place, famous for its silver. We hope to go back one day on our way to check out Agloo Beach as well as finally go to Tafarat one day. Uh, other news, we went to the local administrative unit here in Cirknitsa, Slovenia with the papers, bank account, passport, proof of insurance, everything going. And we walk in there with Andrea, walk to the second floor, go to a lady. She hands the papers. They talk Slovenian, talk Slovenian. I just stand there and I say, take the mask down, take the glasses off so I could check that it's me, I guess. And in the end, they accepted the papers. We got stamps on some things. So my permit for staying over 90 days in Slovenia seems to be in processing. It's not been accepted yet, but it's a good step to have it uh, accepted. You know, we've had to do, do a lot of things to get this accomplished. We got fingerprints by the FBI. We got that officially signatured by Washington, D.C. And we brought that to Slovenia. They translated it. I got insurance here. So there's been a lot of steps to get this done. And it was a big sigh of relief. Andrea was very happy that I won't have to leave in September. I kept telling her not to worry about it. And she's like, oh, you just want to go to Morocco because that was the backup plan, I guess, if I had to leave in 90 days. I told her I'd go to Morocco and send money back to Slovenia. You should go to Safi City. Some great waves there. Welcome, bro. Yeah, I hope to travel one day and surf more in Morocco. You know, we, there's a lot to still explore and see. And middle-aged runaway is doing a great job of traveling with his motorcycle now and checking out some new places. I enjoy seeing his videos, what he's up to there. He's got his whole motorcycle gang. So it looks like a, a good time going on there. Ulidia is another place that uh, we are told to visit. So Safi, 
CD. I don't know if you're talking about CD if knee. I still need to surf CD if knee. We did take a visit there, but Safi is definitely on the to-do list. I heard they have great seafood couscous there. Maro L S. Is it a boy or a girl? 99.9% .9 chance of a girl. I'm still wondering if it's going to be a boy. I got like a little hope, you know, for some surprise. Um, get an EU passport, Wilson said. Americans can have dual citizenship like Moroccans. I think it takes some time to get the EU passport, but with my permit, I think I'll be able to travel around the EU. And then after one year of having the residency permit, I'll be able to apply for a five-year residency permit and then eventually you could do citizenship. But our plan is not necessarily to stay in Slovenia for a whole calendar year. We plan to go to the USA, go to Morocco, and see how things are going for us. Mr. D says, I've heard that Slovenia is one of the best destinations for retirement. Um, I don't know if that's true. I think it's a really nice place. It's peaceful. It's quiet. Uh, but you have to like the cold, I guess. You have to... I, I would rather retire someone somewhere with warmer weather and an ocean, but that's just me. But I think a lot of people come here, Europeans, British, and find a peaceful life in the mountains or something. There are bears... Uh, M.M. asked if there are bears in Slovenia. They're smaller than the American bears, the grizzlies, and the panda bears, but there are bears. Uh, I haven't seen one yet. I'm still waiting. I haven't seen many animals yet. No ibex, or I think I need to get out in nature a little bit more. Uh, Nino says, hope you'll have a little baby surfer. I hope so, too. Uh, Looking forward to taking the baby to the beach, putting it on a surfboard, going for a little ride. I think that's going to be a beautiful experience. Um, Mara Royals, do you feel it's more difficult with the baby for you right now to travel, surf, etc.? We don't have a baby yet, um, but it's, it's definitely been a little bit tougher to travel if taken into considerations like Andrea having to pee more often so he couldn't take as many buses. And we're not traveling so much now. Our, our travel has been only essential to see our family, get our documents and papers in order. Um, I, of course, it's going to be uh, more difficult to travel with a child, but not impossible. You just have to do a little bit more planning, carry a little bit more luggage. But I think it's going to be more fun and more rewarding in that the juice will be worth the squeeze. But I'm sure it'll be more difficult with a baby. you got to pack more things. You know, I traveled just a backpack in the past, backpack on the front, backpack on the back, not even a big backpack, but now we're going to need some luggage. We're going to need some things. Uh, going to surf, it's going to be the same. If Andrea stays at the beach, um, or we take turns, you know, and then when the child is old enough, we could all surf together. So that's something I look forward to. I hope that they enjoy the ocean, not afraid of it and that we could share these things together. It should be interesting. The number one question we're asked on this live stream is always, when do you expect to return to Morocco? Ibarak Hamid says, hello, agro. Uh, and the answer seems to be 2022. Uh, we look at flights, they're cheap right now, but we also look at the corona situation. It's unexpected right now, having lived in Morocco during the state of emergency, we know that things could change quickly between border closures, border openings. Um, so right now we're hanging tight in Slovenia. We don't have a baby yet, you know, that's our, our biggest step. We hope to come back to Morocco in 2022 and we hope to find a country that's on the upswing, full of positivity, and recovering from any economic or health fallout from this uh, pandemic. So 2022 is the answer. Sticking around here, baby's born in August, September, October, November, December, four months, couple doctor checkups, Christmas, and then when it gets too cold here, I hope we go to Morocco and able to make some videos again, check out the souk and meet all our friends there. Uh, Anes L says, USA is the best place for your children. Up for debate, you know. Um, depends where in the US you are as well. 
I think it is the best place to maybe work and make some money to be able to, I don't know, travel, I guess, or provide for the child. But I think Slovenia's got a good education system. I think it's got a good healthcare system for the child as well. Um, so they're both good options, but I think being in Morocco with the child will also be highly educational. It'll be exposed to more languages and more diversity than here in Slovenia. A lot of diversity in the USA, but it doesn't have the richness in language and uh, diversity in the culture and people that you would find in Morocco. Again, depends where you are in USA, but suburban Chicago, there's diversity, but people tend to stay in their clans more. You're not going to hear as many languages spoken. You will, but it's only within that unit. Uh, no way, Jose. Moroccan, Chicago, and the cold is wearing me off. Yeah, cold, no good. We'll, <laughs> we'll hopefully get out of the cold here. I'll, it will be okay traveling with the baby. Yeah, Bence, now that we've been traveling with these new lenses of seeing the world of uh, families and babies, we see people do it all the time, and it just takes a little more preparation. A couple more snacks, some more clothes, we'll be all right. Uh, Maroel says, if you make it to Morocco in February, we'll come surf with you. I'm in Canada right now. Yes, that'd be cool. You know, if we're, we're all in there in February... We're definitely going to go for a surf. We hope to um, have some acro yoga classes and stuff going on if the health situation permits it. I mean, come on, it's been a year and a half or something almost of this lockdown, so things have to be getting better soon. A light at the end of the tunnel or I don't know. <laughs> we, we should be getting better. It's getting better all the time, I hope, and not in that new normal kind of way. Uh, I'm going to go make some chicken, some honey soy chicken. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to you all today. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. We're going to be doing more live streams. Go ahead and drop a comment about something to talk about next time, and we'll see you all on the other side. One more comment. Regarding the educational system, I recommend Canada, but since you're good people everywhere go, you'll check good as well. Yeah, no, Canada's not an option for us. Too cold. All right, see you next time. Thank you all, and uh, stay safe. Congratulations to Morocco on that first gold medal. Peace out.